Hello, welcome back little ones, welcome back family members. Glad we all can make it back to another glorious day. Thank you, Father God, our Heavenly Father, for another glorious day that you made. We are to rejoice and be glad in it that we should. Thank you, Father God, for giving us life. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for your unsearchable love. Thank you for guiding us to all truth. Thank you for loving us when we could not love ourselves. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. For the remission of our sins paid in full. A holy, pure, righteous, knowing no sin life was given for us to have life. Therefore, our life does not belong to us. And our Father, which are in heaven, is holy. So we must live a life of holiness. And we thank you, Father God, for the teachings. We love you, Father God. And you're like no other. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you for our family members and our loved ones also. Thank you for you being who you are. You are the most high. You are awesome in every way. Thank you, Father. And it's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We'll get right into a psalm from 145, as we do each day. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy, good, thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. I'll say that again. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. Hallelujah. Yes, you are so righteous and so good to us. We can't help but sing and give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Father. You little ones, I hope you told your family members that you love them. I hope you are good little boys and girls and obey your parents and do what is right. Right? And we remember, we choose good friends. And we don't do things that we know are troublesome. And we do things that are wrong. We don't do that. We listen to our parents because they know what's best for us. And um, God bless you all. I love you all, the love of the Lord. Today is chapter 16 of the Bible. Hagar and Ishmael. Abram's wife, Sarai, had not been able to have any children, but she owned a young Egyptian slave woman named Hagar. And Sarai said to Abram, The Lord has not given me any children. Sleep with my slave, and if she has a child, it will be mine. Abram agreed, and Sarai gave him Hagar to be his wife. This happened after Abram had lived in the land of Canaan for ten years. Later, when Hagar knew she was going to have a baby, she became proud and she was hateful to Sarai. Then Sarai said to Abram, It's all your fault. I gave you my slave woman, but she has been hateful to me ever since she found out she was pregnant. You have done me wrong, and you will have to answer to the Lord for this. Abram said, All right, she's your slave, and you can do whatever you want with her. But Sarai began treating Hagar so harshly that she finally ran away. Hagar stopped to rest at a spring in the desert on the road to Shur. While she was there, the angel of the Lord came to her and asked, Hagar, where have you come from, and where are you going? She answered, I'm running away from Sarai, my owner. The angel said, go back to Sarai and be her slave. I will give you a son who will be called Ishmael because I have heard your cry for help. And later I will give you so many descendants that no one will be able to count them all. But your son will live far from his relatives and he will be like a wild donkey fighting everyone and everyone fighting him. Hagar thought, have I really seen God and lived to tell about it? So from then on, she called him, the God who sees me. That's why people call the wall between Kadesh and Barad, the well of the living one who sees me. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar gave birth to their son, and he named him Ishmael. Tomorrow, the end. Tomorrow's chapter 17, God's promise to Abraham. Okay, remember the Lord had promised Noah. Now God is promising Abraham tomorrow, chapter 17. Well, you all be good little boys and girls. Tell you, your loved ones about Jesus. Tell them that you love them. Tell your family that you love them. Your family members, friends, and loved ones. Tell them about God, our Heavenly Father, and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. And you all be good little boys and girls. Jesus loves the little children. And with that being said, I'm going to go out with Jesus loves the little children. I love you all with the love of the Lord. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members.
Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in his eyes. Jesus loves the little children of the world. I have a joy like King Jesus, joy like King Jesus, joy like King Jesus in my soul. I have a joy, 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 joy like King Jesus in my soul. God bless you. Hallelujah. I sure hope you all have the joy like King Jesus in your soul as well. We love Jesus. We love the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. You all have yourself a blessed day. I love you all to love the Lord. Bye, little ones. Bye, family members. Goodbye. God bless you. Bye-bye.